G'day everyone! Get ready America, because on the morning of August 21st, the first total solar eclipse in nearly 40 years might be coming to a city near you. It's not just like one of those lame, like partial lunar eclipses where nothing really happens, but this one is like a total eclipse of the sun. Like so many other people, I've never seen such a celestial phenomenon in my lifetime. I've just seen it in films and I'm a little bit excited. In general, a solar eclipse is what happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, blocking views of the sun for up to about three hours. The oldest written record of any solar eclipse on earth is about 5,000 years old and the last time the continental United States saw a total solar eclipse was in 1979, almost four decades ago. What makes this solar eclipse special is that it's going to span across 14 US states, where many people are going to have the chance to see the sun's corona with their own two eyes. That's the millions of kilometers of plasma that surround it and all other stars. This eclipse, which is going to last anywhere from two to three minutes, puts those within a 70 mile wide path of selected cities from Oregon to South Carolina in the middle of a moment of total solar eclipse as the moon completely blocks the sun, literally turning day into night. For those of you not directly in the path of the total eclipse, also known creatively as the path of totality, your view of the moon covering the sun is going to only be partial. So you're going to see a partial eclipse, which could look like any one of these. During a solar eclipse, the moon casts two shadows on Earth. The first shadow is the dark center of the moon's shadow called the umbra, which decreases in size the closer it gets to Earth. The second shadow, the penumbra, gets larger as it reaches the planet. So so people standing in the cast of the penumbra will see a partial eclipse and those in the cast of the umbra will see a total eclipse. There are three types of possible solar eclipses, two of which are expected during this August. The ones we've mentioned, total and partial, and the third being the exact opposite of what we're expecting, an annular solar eclipse happens when the moon is farthest from the earth and doesn't block the entire view of the sun. So two out of the three are happening and two out of three ain't bad, am I right? That said, if you want to look directly at the eclipse, you shouldn't do it with your naked eyes because the sun's rays could damage your eyes. Duh. But don't worry, you don't need any high-tech gadgets in order to see the eclipse. The easiest way to look at a partially or fully eclipsed sun directly is with cheapish items like eclipse glasses or handheld solar viewers. For the total geeks out there, there's also specially designed telescopes with solar filters which block out harsh sun rays which could damage camera and regular glass lenses. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that NASA is also so totally stoked about this eclipse that it has its own webpage solely dedicated to the history and science of eclipses, when and where to see the total eclipse, what tech you're going to need, viewing parties in your area, and even a live stream for those who aren't able to travel in order to see it. Do you have plans to travel to see the solar eclipse? If so, drop us a line in the comments and let us know your eclipse party plans, plus whatever gear you're going to use to watch safely. Bonus points for anyone who's seen a total solar eclipse before, let us know in the comments below. And as for me, I'm headed to Nashville, Tennessee to go watch me some solar eclipse. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.